Listens Live, I'm Michael Vanover, filling in for John today on a Friday, and I'm joined next by a familiar face of the show, Larry Weiss, the owner and president of Elder Advisors. Larry, how are you? That was a stupendous intro. Hey, well, you are thank you are a very, very regular face stupendous, on the show. Stupendous, thank you. Okay, I can, I can live with that. Thank so, you. So, Larry, for people that are, are new to the show today or yeah. maybe flipping around, tell us a little bit about Elder Advisors and how it came to be. In a nutshell, what Elder Advisors does is, and is it Michael? It is. Do I know you well enough to call you Mike, or do you prefer Michael? Well, I only go by Michael because my dad is Mike, so I'm okay. a junior. So okay. I prefer Michael, but I can live with Michael. Michael, no, whatever. I, whatever. I'm fine. more comfortable in formality since okay. we only met 30 seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> so in any event, what Elder Advisors does is we help families transition their loved ones from their homes to home health care, uh, home health care, or long-term care if their veterans or spouse of veterans qualify for benefits using both financial and legal strategies to protect their assets so they don't go broke in a nursing home, which is a registered trademark. Don't use it without the circle R. All right. Don't go broke it. in a nursing yeah. home. Oh, yeah, got circle it. R. Done. Thanks. So, you know, when you think about people that are going through this transition in their life, right. um, I've watched my grandparents go through it. It is, first of all, it's not cheap. Second of all, it can be very, very straining on a family. Are you guys just the total resource if people need any type of help? We really are. Wait a minute, Tammy. Tammy, I'm sorry. Barb gave me the VIP. Yeah. I'll take that off. Yeah. Live television. Thank you, Tammy. So in any event, no, we really are because uh, there's a legal component, which Steve Lang and Neely Stevenson does a phenomenal job on the legal component. But so much of this on the elder advisors is really just holding people's hands because they don't have to go broke in a nursing home. For husbands and wives, there are special exceptions that Steve likes to call special exceptions where we can protect all the assets for a husband and wife. We have our workshops coming up next week at the Four Points by Sheraton. Was it Tammy? Yeah, throw the panel up. Thank you, Tammy. So we have our workshops next Monday at the Four Points by Sheraton at 6 o'clock on Crittenden Drive, and then Monday morning at the Hampton Inn in Clarksville. So we have the workshops. We're in the Courier Journal now, but we're there as a, as a resource for families to realize they don't have to lose everything and go broke in a nursing home. So when you have these people come out to the workshop, mm -hmm. it's got to be really, really great to really be give, give them the education that they need because I feel like a lot of people, they just don't know the answers. Is that true? Yeah, they really don't. And they, they operate under the guise that it's too late because dad's in right. the nursing home. We should have done something more than five years ago. And the answer is no, it's really not. Uh, it is never too late to protect those assets. It's just the sooner they get to us, the more assets we can protect. So again, for the couples, we can protect all the assets. For a single, we can protect about half the assets. And I don't even think there are people out there, including me, before I was preparing for the show today, that even knew that some of these options were out there. No. I just had no idea. I guess in my mind, if, if my loved one had to go into the nursing home, it's just going to cost a lot of money. Right. Not that it's not, but there's ways to really work around that and really put up a, a full plan, right? Absolutely. I, mean, we had a, I had a family at my office yesterday at 3 o'clock. They're coming back today at 3.30, and it's a sister and brother. And dad is in the community. He's at home. Mom, her care is increasing to the point where assisted living, her needs can no longer be met in assisted living. The family is going to have to elevate her to long-term care because she's having a, a struggle with dementia, sundowners. It's becoming more prevalent now because it's getting dark so much earlier now. Right. And I'm just illustrating the basic tenets of what we can do to protect those assets. And they're just shocked. They're like, well, why doesn't everybody know about this? And I'm like, hello, I'm out doing workshops. Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. You know, I'm trying to tell you yeah. because... Oftentimes, when just an attorney is involved, the families are given a checklist, much like you have uh, in front of you, and the family tries to negotiate through that, and they usually make mistakes. And if it takes them three or four months to get that reasonably taken care of, that's going through three or four months in the nursing home that they otherwise would not have to do. Now, one of the things that I remember when I was watching my grandfather go through and he had Alzheimer's was um, getting out of the house, yeah. you know, having to sell his home. And, yeah. and you guys help you help people keep their homes, right? I mean, that, well, that's often we can. It depends on the yeah, strategy. Sure. I've got a family in Indiana right now where it's single, but we're able to engineer a strategy where they're going to be able to keep their 80-acre farm. And I'm not going to kiss and tell on live television no. how to do that, <laughs> but we utilize those special exceptions that Mr. Langdon and McNeely Stevenson calls to utilize that so we can keep the farm. Because otherwise, oftentimes, they're told you have to sell everything and you have to lose it. Oftentimes, you don't have to. But it takes someone willing to sit down with the family and actually work with them work past five o'clock and go over these things and understand what, what their needs are so we can be addressed in that manner. So obviously there are people, uh, thousands of people that are watching right now and they're sitting at home. They probably have a bunch hello. of questions. Yes, hello. Hello, hello. mom. <laughs> hello, dad. Uncle Skeeter. Uh, yeah, everybody. Everybody's watching. Everybody's uh, watching. Yeah, obviously. Why would anyone not I, be watching? I mean, it's me and you Wave. on TV. Why would they not be watching Wave 3 Listens today? I, mean, uh, I, can, I can think of 790 reasons why I want to be right here and all Blue well, wants to be here And if watching. you think about every restaurant in the city right now, they've all got us on. They're eating their lunch and they're like, hey, look at these guys. Was you know, that Tammy? So, yeah. 
Yeah. She said we only enhanced their appetite. Yeah, that's right. No that's one got I, sick. Yes. No one got Thank sick. You. That's good. Yes, okay. Everybody's hungry. Right. Um, so they have a lot of questions right now. Right. They're hearing all this and they're like, whoa, you know, their head's spinning. What are some of the most common questions that you hear when people call in or Well, that's a great you? that's a great segue to Monday's show because we've been invited to come back on Monday. We're going to have Terry Graham from Rotifer and Moss. And one of the common uh, questions we have is, well, is it okay if mom and dad give us $15,000? Because the IRS says that they can. Well, the IRS says that you can, but Kentucky and Indiana Medicaid say you cannot. That is an improper transfer. So that's probably one of the biggest uh, obstacles we run across that's easily answered that for IRS tax planning you can, but not for Medicaid and protecting the family for assets you can't do. And that, that is just that's just the re I mean, there's that's just the law here. Is yeah, it, Medicaid okay. says that's an improper transfer. You gave okay. away something for less than fair market value. It's what they call an uncompensated transfer. You cannot do that without being assessed a penalty. So obviously, a lot of times when you guys when you're helping people go through this, there's brothers and sisters, and you know, the, there's always sometimes yeah. the family the drop. The family dynamic. The family dynamic. That's right. a good way to say it. Thank you. How do you help navigate families through arguably one of the toughest times of their life as we're watching the parents, maybe? Well, and again, that that's a lot. This what's addressed at our workshop this coming Monday at the Four Points by Sheraton, six o'clock down by the fairgrounds, and of course Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. at the Hampton Inn in New Albany. Excuse me. Thank you, Tammy. Hampton Inn in Clarksville uh, on Broadway. Okay. Thank you. There's the panel up. Thank you, Tammy. So those are the type of questions. It's a fast-paced hour and a half program on the workshops. It's a free workshop where people come in and talk about these different things because we kind of paint with a wide brush because there's a lot of subject matter that we have to go over. All right. I know that Don't Go Broke in a Nursing Home has been copyrighted. and we can't it's a registered use it. I, trademark. I cannot use it. And there's some live action shots. Yeah, yeah there we go. Yes. Does Denise Manicky take a bad no, shot? Yeah, look mean, at that. Well, Beautiful look. woman. Denise Manicky Ice, recently married, showing people how to protect assets. Long -term don't Go Broke in a Nursing Home. Well, oh, that guy's a player. I'm yeah. not sure. But I'm pretty sure. Louisville is looking at a player right there, but he's a good-looking player. Yeah, and he's a good man. And they're still hungry. I mean, and they're, they're still hungry. They're, they're I yes. want to come back and learn more <laughs> about Medicaid and how I can protect assets. Yeah, so um, there are rumblings out there about a new airport ad. Is that correct? You want to talk there, about that well, a little bit? Yes, and uh, uh, I was hoping maybe what was that, Tammy? Throw that up, but. Uh, Oh. John, oh, there oh, it is. Oh, oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Kentucky Anna, John Ramsey is upstairs in the house, Delta A level A1. Yes, we are going up live. That looks good right there. So Look we can say goodbye to people leaving Louisville, and then we say welcome back in the baggage carousels on both That's sides. That's right. Perfect. I love now, it. Look at you sandbagging me. Hey, look at you see that, bang. I didn't hey, alter I it all. Ready. <laughs> live. Louisville. There it is. That's how it is. Now, so the don't, back to the, the slogan, don't right. go broke in the nursing home. I love it. Um, how, can you tell me how that was born, how that came about? Like, what made, was that a, was that a light bulb moment for you, or what? Well, it, it was, it was certainly a light bulb moment for me in realizing that, that, I mean, everybody gets it. Yeah, Don't right. go broke in a nursing right. home. I mean, I mean, it could almost be a, a registered, you know, a logo, if you will. Uh, but that's pretty much what people's fear is when they would come in. So well, I'm afraid I'm going to go broke in a nursing home. So it was just pretty much an epiphany, and I registered it as Elder Advisors is. And this is what we do. You know, we're not stockbrokers. We're not here to try to make money for people. We're here to show you how to hold on to what you have and minimize loss. And that's what Elder Advisors does. Well, Larry Weiss, thank you so much for for that segment. I just learned a lot, and we've got a whole other one with you. And we're segment gonna, two. Segment two coming up. We've got some, a couple other special guests that we are going to be joining superstars. us. I can't wait to meet them. I All can't right. either. All right, we'll be right back on Wave Three Listens Live. Stay with us.